Hey guys, welcome back to Dime, and now we're on story day seven. Starting point of jealousy. Oh, the next news. Dmates are now very familiar things to us, but all remember the anti-android clan as known as the AAC appears to be after the invention of Dmates. They're always in an opposition that may sound natural. Sorry, I'm like my webcam's been kind of weird. Um. But the problem is the AAC is taking more aggressive actions at times going by destroying random D-mates on the streets. Most victims have close emotional relationships with their D-mates and it appeals that their pain must be bigger compared to the other own properties property have been damaged. As expected, the authority to observe how the AAC's actions will develop from here. That's all the news for today. Turn off the TV, not like there are just a couple of them. You should be careful when you go outside, Kyoko. I'll say when I go. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Stacy glances at Kyoko with somehow a disapproving look. Stacy, Stacy, don't you glare like that? Darling, how can you not even look at me once? When I'm sticking to ya. Told you, don't you glare. I said that because I saw you doing that. Putting down the remote control and turning his focuses back to fixing Pierre. But not... That's not what I'm talking about right now. Sis! Hello, Master Richie. I miss you so much. The weird hug. Sis, you miss me too, right? Welcome, Master Richie. Huh, how easy living as a robot. You don't have to hide your facial expressions because you got none. Why are you fighting again? I wasn't talking to you as a piss off. My gosh. Hello? Simon, bro, the two scary bro and sister are having a fight. Don't you have to be at school? I didn't feel like going today. Aren't you? You weren't sick, are you? I'm not. You sure are cautious? Haha, <laughs> am I? Do you have the day off too, Mr. Greg? Well, yeah. Huh. You there, little boy. You're Richard, right? I'm not a scary sis. I don't think I called you scary. Or did I? I don't have a good memory. Haha. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you hitting on that kiddo since Tay is ignoring you? What? Got a problem? Or maybe because I wasn't hitting on you? Fuck off. Not charming, honey. Why should I be charming to you? Please don't start fighting. She turned her focus towards Simon. I like kind boys like you too. Pardon? Uh, w will you be kind at night too? I'm getting curious. Haha, <laughs> I fall asleep instantly. I'm occupied with my assignment, so I'm busy in the evening. I can melt you down in 10 seconds. Ugh, tell you finally got annoyed at Stacy's actions. Cuts in. You're bothering others here. I'm done fixing Pierre, so take him home. Looking frustrated. You want me to go? Then are you gonna keep staying here? No, I mean. Princess, I'm okay now. Why did you have to wake up? Sorry? Freaking, you were lying down as if you were dead. I I'm sorry. Miss Stacy, you're the zoner, so why are you keeping in pure? What? What? Ju what just talked to me? Was that you? Uh, I, Tin Ken, you said something? Damn. Hey, I'm asking you. Stacy hysterically screamed and swung her bag hard, aiming for Kyoko's head. The bag hit exactly in Kyoko's head, and her body collapsed on the side. Kyoko! Oh. Low battery. Why? What have you- Isn't she a psycho bitch? Vision got blurry. I didn't- I didn't feel right. Due to Stacey's unexpected behavior, everyone was shocked and Kyoko's consciousness was falling apart as her, if her system was damaged. Kyoko wanted to say that she was okay to everyone, but her voice wasn't coming out. Her vision went black. What will happen? Will I open my eyes again? Kyoko felt bad not being able to open her eyes again without saying goodbye to everyone. Are you a robot just like me? Fix the, fix this thing for me while I'm away at work. 
I deal carefully with my products. And I say your wounds on your body or disorder or your heart or something. I'll just stay by pure right now. I'm here because I'm curious. People let water from the ice when they see someone in pain. My princess needs me only when she's working. I deal carefully with my products. Are you happy even though it's not something shiny? Only if Mr. Tay is fine with that. Is it say where your wounds on your body have disorder? Freaking, you were laying down as if you were dead. Because I was lonely. I could just buy her with my money. I wonder if this is gonna go on for like eight minutes. Do you have to keep this on for eight minutes? first what do you do with what will you do with that bitch I'll take care of Stacy she might get her again so take her somewhere else I'll check her damages thoroughly later I yeah okay oh whoops yes well if you say so sis are you all right Richie was totally worried what's so fascinating even robots can get tired Kyoko, are you all right? You must have been scared. I'm fine. Reaching out his hand. Here, hand. Come on now. If we hold it like this, it'll be fine. Oh, we're holding hands. Because Kyoko's not alone. Okay. Hold Kyoko's hand. Sis, hold my hand too. <laughs> we hold hands. Will she get better if we move away? Hmm, that seems like a good idea. Then let's take my car. I'll let your bros hop on. I'll call my driver over. Thanks a lot, arrogant kiddo. You'll need to if you don't. You might do something to Kyoko I need to hop on. He, I'll just end it here since I'm a church grown up. Heh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I seem, you seem just so innocent just now. Don't I see you t Do I see you telling lies? Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm, doesn't matter to me. But sis is gonna sit beside me, all right? Yeah. Oh no, never mind. I got a better idea. Since there's not much space, sis can sit on my lap. You perverted kid. What are you imagining? You don't have to get G E T O N. It's so weird when people spell things. Richard took the chance to get teased and teased Greg and Kyoko's hand to swing around his arms around. Gah! Whoa! You're staring well. Come here, everyone. Sis, should I put music for you? Sis, hold on really tight. Richard was busy playing with Kyoko in the front seat. He was ignoring Greg, who was fuming in the back. Like this. Nah, I'll just hold you myself. Oh my gosh. Such a weird hug. Okay. Aye, Kyoko, what did you do in there? Because I didn't want my sis to get so scared. Right, sis? Richard put a seatbelt for you. <laughs> scared of what? 
This car has the best comfort. Even the bricks will damage the car. Wow, you were so lame. You're so amazing from looking amazed from looking at that robot. Are you sure you're worried about this robot? Ah, dudes. We are here, so get off. Such a black-hearted kiddo. If you have problems, I'll just leave. Where's Master Richard going? School. What? Where are you going? School. I'm skipping it, so I need to get back. Oh, skipper. I don't need to hear such things from you. Since I'm always out anyways, I want to play more. How could I leave my sister to you guys? Just much more perverted than any of us. Don't worry. While well, Greg and Richard were busy having a quarrel, si si Simon said to Kyoko, I'm just telling you in advance, Kyoko. Yeah? Skipping is bad. Ah, okay, skipping is bad. Since it's noisy, let's walk away from them. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Hey, aren't you hurrying up? Oh, ouch, got caught. We are coming. One hour later. Oh, wait, why are my ears so ticklish? Your ears? Why, you got your wax? I don't have those because I am clean. WTH, I can hear someone calling from the dean's office. Pfft. Even if they know I'm skipping, they can't do anything to me. Huh, I've been waiting to ask you something. Who are your parents? Which family are you from? Oh, I was wondering that too. Why are you so curious? Do you need something from me? Richard said in a sarcastic tone. Sis, do you have anything you need from me? No, I don't. Richard's expression showed a sign of relief and happiness. As expected, sis, you know I like you, right? Shall we go on a trip together and... Before Richard finished his sentence, his phone's pocket started to ring. Richard's expression darkened as he took the call and bit his lip. Father... Richard lighted a big sigh and walked away from the others so he didn't want them to hear the conversation. He came back dragging his shoes and farewell to everyone. So, uh, I need to get going. Yeah, good idea. Pfft, so mean, have fun without me. You had to take care. Hey, Ai, Kikiyoko. Yes. Get to the point. Are you at least aware of it? Mr. Greg, I don't understand. Don't you understand? What I'm saying is don't let guys touch you. Oh. No, I mean like that kid out. Or if anyone tries to touch you with a purpose, then maintenance and fix. Strike them or yell at them. The world is too harsh to so just let them do whatever they want. It's not like you have someone to protect you all the time. Can't you say no? I'm kind of a robot, man. Do you even know how to get angry? I seriously, huh? Understood? Mr. Craig. What? I think you got the wrong target to get angry at. Ah, shit. Greg looked at his head looking awkward and then stood up sighing. This is really... I'm leaving. I guess he's really leaving. Do we just let him leave? If it's your stuff who's getting blamed for, it's best to let him go. I'm not sure what you mean, but okay. Plus, he's the type who'll go after thinking over him himself. It's like that only two of us are left now. Should we hang out longer? Yes. What do you think? I wanted to show it to you. We happen to be nearby. It's really pretty. Thank goodness. It's so small, but there's so many leaves. Hmm, wanna turn around a sec? Sure. All right, all set. Turn around to see Simon. Puts two hair flowers in her hair. Ta-da. Oh, cute. It's a present, it's nothing fancy, but we're only here to see flowers anyways. Thank you, it's pretty. I got a present. The flowers may be pretty, but Kyoko's more pretty. Someone said as he blushed, he blushed his face. Cool breeze of wind blew towards them and Kyoko's hair becomes stuck to her lips. Ah. Uh, Simon's eyes were fixed on Kyoko's lips without any time to calm down in his racing heart. Simon's face started to blush. He lifted his hand toward her lips and brushed her hair off her, her lips without with hesitation. Tip of Simon's fingers felt Kyoko, Kyoko's soft lips. Kyoko stood still and remained in Simon without knowing a thing. Because, maybe because he was imagining his own facial expression or maybe he didn't want to hear her to notice his heartbeats. Simon broke into laughter and took a step away from Kyoko. 
It was a fluttering feeling that he hasn't felt in a while. Aww, cute. Thank you for today. Alright, take care. I'm home. Ah, oh, you're back. Stacy left, so you don't worry. Yes. Did you have fun? Uh, yes, it was fun. Come inside to have a rest. I have... I've got two questions in my head. And what are they? I think beta testers really cherish me. Oh, well, they should, don't they? What Pierre's owner does to Pierre is it because she is because that she cherishes him. I did that he's nothing but property. Well, to be honest, she's not cherishing him. Will Pierre be okay? Pierre breaks. Pierre breaks, and that is sad. But people break too. If it's harder to fix a broken person, you see. It'll be hard to, for you to understand it yet. But please just understand that Stacy is broken right now, too. Okay. And what's your second question? What's your relation to Mrs. Miss Stacy? Take off after hearing that unexpected question. <laughs> what? Sitting on the bed, we're nothing to each other. Why, did it look like we're something? Mm, last time two of you, two of us, uh... Tay stared at Kyoko with a smile, then he grabbed Kyoko's wrist and pulled her in. What does that mean? Pulling Kyoko by the wrist to bed, do you want to know? Yes. Shall I teach you then? You should have this new data about this when you're made. Letting her wrist go, huh, why so quiet? Tay smiled mischievously, the single that was a joke, then continued talking. If you can't do anything, if you look at me like that, I feel like a bad person now. Kids gotta go bed too early. I felt that I made dangerous to learn her emotions. I felt that I may be dangerous to learn her emotions slowly. We need to be cautious next time. She isn't put into danger. I hope she doesn't get hurt due to today's incident. When she gets better, she seemed like an innocent child when she sh expresses her gratitude. Can you shut that woman away? Seriously. Seems a little like basic knowledge. Needs education. Especially how she gets angry at the end. It's not even about, like, the robot. Richard don't want to write. Says it's so nice to me, but everyone's so mean. Why are they dying to get to me? Hmm. But I think I can write longer if I get more time with sis. Um. And I think that is it for today. Oh my gosh. Go away. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you. Also, support me on Patreon. And I'll see ya. Bye!